Is today the day we land some men in the new world? Because I think today is the day that we land some men in the new world. Welcome back, one and all, to Land of the Free here in Europa Universalis 4. I am currently exploring the uh, Caribbean Sea, which for some reason, these sea tiles are included in the Caribbean Sea. The reason being, we need to get to Bermuda. Now, we cannot reach Bermuda. Actually, we cannot reach any of these guys. However, I do have an advisor here that will allow me to reach at least these provinces. Because, again, it applies another... 20% uh, on top of base. So I'm holding on to this guy for dear life because he's so good. All I need to do is uh, get to a point where we are able to get colonizing. And we're going to colonize Newfoundland and then hop down into Bermuda. So we're just going to wait on our uh, explorer over here. Anthony Gilbert, been absolutely trucking. Dude's been leading this Navy for a long time. But uh, yes, I hope you guys have all been enjoying the campaign. I want to I want to thank you for the uh, for the support up to this point. I always appreciate uh, the feedback from the community, and it seems like you guys are uh, looking forward to this mod as much as I am looking forward to you guys getting to play it. So, thank you again for that. We are now making twenty one seven five. It's going to go twenty two point four. Not bad, man. Not bad at all. Good money. Good money. So these guys inherited. So this is the Burgundian inheritance that happened then. No? I do not know. How are we doing on the Reformation? We are only at 58%. Goodness gracious. So yeah, it's going to be some time. That's all right. We'll make it work. All right, these guys are heading home, and we're finally going to be able to explore Newfoundland, which is going to be our jumping off point into getting into the new world. Explore Newfoundland, which will be American East Coast. You guys want to buy some maps? Sure, man. Five provinces for 10 prestige. That's worth. So what we're going to do is we're going to switch this guy over. I'm going to wait until the year monthly tick here. We're going to switch over here. What this is going to do is this is going to give us colonial range over to here. Really, it does not? Hold on a minute. Pardon? I should definitely have uh, range. Oh, I do have range. Okay. I was confused. All right. Let's colonize you. Yeah. Okay. It's because I hadn't uh, had them uh, discovered yet. So there we go. We'll add those guys. I will gain the prestige and the stab. Absolutely. And now, um, I don't know if I can recall them right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait until these guys land here. And what that's going to do is that is going to allow me to uh, pull this guy and uh, switch back over to my trade guy, which is giving me a ton of mana for a very low price. So all these little things you can do to min-max to get yourself in a better position. No downside to it. There's literally no downside to it. All right, we're getting there. One more month. Paper, very cool. All right. Now, as soon as they get there, and I don't know if I have to actually wait on this, but we will. All right, and now we'll buy him back, and it is time to send some men over. So, not Cav. We don't need Cav. Let's send some infantry over. Let's go with, like, six units. Have them brought over, because uh, if you guys recall, we went with the native suppression or repression, uh, which allows us to grow, grow our colonies a little bit faster, which, uh, if you don't know, that's the goal. That's the goal. So this province is also called Placentia, which is kind of funny. But anyways, what we're doing is we are going to get these guys as quickly as possible. That will allow us to jump down into Bermuda, which is uh, this mission right here. Sea Venture. So discover the Americas, Colonial Caribbean region. All right, which is fine because that's actually where we're heading next. Because for some reason, Bermuda is considered Caribbean. So this right here will allow us to... Uh, this mission right here will allow us another 20% settler increase chance, as well as some Diplo mana, huh? Well, I'm ahead on Diplo, so let's switch over to an admin focus. 12, 12, 10. So good. Hopefully, Anne lives a long and prosperous life here. So let's split these guys in half. The natives are 500 and 500, so realistically, they're not even going to fire. But if they do, I don't want to have to deal with it. Let's click that button, and right there, that means every month we have a 20% higher chance of being able to get free colonists, which is really solid. So let's uh, rival you guys, send you an embargo. We still have really good um, 
really good bonuses here. So let's send a scornful insult to them as well. That'll increase our relations with them. Uh, I do not care about the aggressiveness at all. I will definitely rather take the prestige here. Relations. Let's send a scornful insult. Mammies, you suck. And I hate you. Part of the best mod pack in the world. Linked in the comments below. Linked in the, in the description below the video. In below, above the comments, below the video. In that general vicinity. All right, so... Uh, let's just go with a level one guy. That is fine. This is fine. It's all good. Saul Goodman. I will certainly not give you guys anything for anything. However, I will take your money. 38. They won't pay. 68. Oof. 50, but they won't do it. Teresa, Maria Teresa von Hopsburg. Really? No. Oh, it's not a von Hopsburg. What are, who are you? Von... What is your... I can't read it. Anyways. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Take the money. More money, please. Base tax in the Turks Islands goes down, sadly. Oh, no. Anyways. Oh, no. Anyways. But, yeah. So, these first couple of colonies are going to go a little slow. Uh, we are just going to be working through here. We're going to get an extra 20%, 20 global settler increase, an extra colonist. And uh, I guess right now would be as good a time as any to walk you guys through the mission tree and explain a little bit. So once we have fully colonized Bermuda, we will get some bonuses. And uh, what these will do is it will give us an extra colonist as well as global settler increase for 20 years. So a very solid colonial modifier bonus. The reason being, this will give us permanent claims on these areas over here. This one, this one, and this one. The claims are essentially to handle them if natives have taken them. Right, and because these are three of the historical um, original settlements within um, the United States. Obviously, Roanoke was the first, uh, first like British, I should say British colonies. Um, obviously, you have Vinland, you also have St. Augustine, you have a couple of things, but I'm talking British. So, whenever you uh, get over here, you will get more bonuses, an extra settler increase as well as settler chance. An extra settler increase as well as native assimilation. And this is because, you know, native assimilation, the Plymouth, the settlements, right? The 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 pilgrims. Extra trade efficiency because Rhode Island was a very important trade port. Jamestown was uh is gonna was kind of the first. So they get some bonuses. So you can see here we're gonna stack up colonial modifiers very quickly. And what that's gonna do is that is going to allow us to really start to just crush through these guys. So I will obviously take the mana. More settler increase as early on as possible is great. Plus, the, more, the faster I can get through these guys, the sooner I'll be able to get 5% tech cost for the Royal Society, which is great. So, uh, there is no downside to it. Let's explore the uh, North Atlantic, I suppose. Let's go see what's going on in Canada, yeah? What is this? Literally just this province here. This one single province here, for some reason, was not, uh, not searched. Interesting. John Talbot. What a legend. He's gone. Rest in peace, John Talbot. So, we're going to max out on mill mana. That's fine. A little bit of mana hurt doesn't hurt us. Obviously, once we form uh, the 13 colonies, we're going to send all of our mana into them. Okay. Let's, uh, yoink. Yeah, because I want to get a little bit more crown land. That way, I can... Well, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter. I just want the money. So, yeah, I'll just take the money. It's fine. And we have fish. And you know what that means? Grand Bank Fisheries. That's why we're colonizing this. Uh, also, there's a little bit of an Easter egg. There's a couple of Easter eggs in the mission tree. So, I think you guys are going to have plenty to look forward to. Saving up all my money. I want as much money to go into the new world as possible. Ah, sadly, our half-off trade guy died. That is indeed tragic, but it is okay. Let's see here. Trade steering level two gets you up to a level three. So it's just one one extra decade a month for one mana less. It's an all right trade off. It's not ideal, but our mana generation, as I said, is uh, much better than what I had in previous test runs. So this is good. So yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rush through these next two idea groups, which is going to give us tech cost, which is 30 mana off of each tech, which is more mana that we can use for deving. 30 mana off of each tech. If you, you know, you go three tech groups, that is a lot. Can we get a colonist? Yes, we certainly can. 
Go with mill support is fine. I don't care about that, and I will placate you. Sadly, I do have I do have range. Very good. Now, ooh. Can I reach Bermuda now? I can. Heck yeah, dude. There's no natives there, so we don't even have to send an army. So that's super good for us. Now let's go back to the trade. Ooh, trade efficiency. Mm. I guess we'll keep trade steering. It's fine. Steering allows you to put more trade into your node. Efficiency means you get more trade from your node. Uh, half off Diplo rep guy or Frederick becomes Norman. I don't care. <laughs> Right, we need to be exploring a bit more. Explore the um, Atlantic South America, I suppose. I don't really actually need them anymore. But yep, you can see here we're finishing these guys up. And uh, Bermuda, once Bermuda is finished, we will be able to finally begin Land of the Free content, right? So I'm excited about that. This is what, episode four, I think? So you can see it's it's pretty casual. A lot of people may be intimidated by England because they're like, oh, the Hundred Years' War. We completely ignored the Hundred Years' War. We didn't even look at it, right? That's pretty great. So, has discovered at least one province in the Western India, Deccan, Coromandel. Okay, so I'm curious if maybe I could buy a uh, charter or trade company from these guys here. Right, okay, I can't reach them. Right. Okay. This is fine. Obviously, I'm not going to do this. So we'll do a little bit more mill dev. As I said, uh, after we form the 13 colonies or get some of that colonized, we're going to all of our money will go into that, which is fine. We can take Diplotech super far ahead of time. This guy died as well. Jeez, oh, Pete. All right. Let's see if we can get a trade efficiency guy who is the appropriate culture. Um, don't see anybody yet. I'll keep the colonial range guy just in case. The trade steering is fine, but, um, I'd rather them be an accepted culture as well. Trade efficiency, global trade power. I guess we'll go with global trade power. Level three. That's expensive. Dang. It's okay. We have tons of money. This colony right here is the big one. Uh, when will we be able to do this? All right, so we'll be able to take that. Now, sadly, November... Yeah, okay. We're not going to be able to... Um, we're not going to be able to get the minus 5% on this, but we will be able to save 10 on this. Now, the reason why I don't feel too bad about it is mostly because the... Um, The, uh, whatchamacallit, we're not going to be able to do any dev over there, and there's not really any point in deving our own land, you know, so it's fine. I don't really care a whole lot. And we'll just wait for the yearly tick. These guys are basically done, which is great. That'll free up a colonist to come over here, get this entire area colonized, which is going to be good for us. Now, I suppose you probably could try to colonize the Spice Islands. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. But this one here would give us some global salary increases. This one gives us some Diplomat as well. I don't know, man. There's some bonuses we could be looking for, but I don't know. All right. We will take this. And that Miltech is also good for innovativeness. So I will stack that innovativeness up. Let's have you guys explore. Oh, explore West African Sea. So is there any other missions I should be looking for? North Islands. Yeah, okay. So, levy the troops, conquer Scotland. Gives us some admin mana, huh? Cost of... Really? Well, hot dog. Let's get over there. What am I thinking? They're also allied to Sligo, so I'll be able to take them. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to have to unmothball my heavies here. Get them closer. Get them up here to Sutherland. As long as they're there before the end of the month, I don't care. Have these guys head over here. And that will allow us to get the North Sea Islands, which will give us naval attrition. And uh, once we get Greenland fully colonized, we get settler increase, as well as some dev over there. Interesting. I don't know if I particularly care, to be honest with you. Our colony is done. Very good. 
Let's uh, send another colonist over here. The main one we're waiting on is uh, here. But I suppose as soon as this one, I can recall you. And we can send you over before. Now, as long as nobody migrates in, it doesn't matter. Grand Bank Fisheries, very cool. So this province here, now all three of these provinces actually have uh, plus two goods produced. So it's pretty nutty. You know, produces like a third of the world's fish just in those two provinces, which is kind of crazy. Let's have you guys head over here. Still not... Oh, they're not actually going to fire. So I will actually send my army, my navy over here to bring them to there, which is good. Now these guys here are going to get attacked. No call in Sligo, but I can co-belligerent. Send a scornful insult to see if they'll break that royal marriage with me. Break it. There you go. They broke it. So call them in. Easy peasy. They're repaired enough, I think, which is fine. Let's get an admiral, or a general rather. And uh, come on over and kill them. And I suppose these guys will come on down here. And we're still going to be sharing maps. I guess that's fine. Explore West African coast. Let those guys head on over there. Oh, they're being annoying. Look at them. So annoying. All right, it's fine. Whatever. Let's get half of them over there. Let's have you guys cross over here. Handle those rebels. That province is, is so absolutely devastated. You, it's hard to even believe. Uh, advisor cost. Yes, please. I will gladly take some advisor costs. That is going to save me a ton of money. Of which I will be able to invest into my vassal. Right? Why wouldn't we? Let's get these guys over here in Dorset. And just like that, they are going to be destroyed. My ports are blockaded. I do not think so, good sir. I do not think so. And we're going to absolutely continue to explore. Get tons of prestige for it, which is nice. These guys are over here now. And so as we start to work through... This colony here will get finished. These guys are finishing up. All right. Very good, very good. Now, we also need to be keeping an eye on here. We're at 73%, so not quite where we want to be. South Atlantic. Oh, it looks like they lost the battle. They got ganked. I'll take the money, because that is money we will be using to invest. Invest, invest, invest. It's a sound investment, right? You guys are starting to catch on, right? I do not care about that event. All right, we will annex you. And as soon as we're done with this nav this battle over here, the siege rather. Excellent. Lift the fog of war of a nation that I already occupy. So let's destroy these guys with my heavies. Very good. Let's bring them in here. Admin mana, yes please. Plus reform desire is good. I will take all your money. Now we truly do have the British Isles occupied and annexed, except for Orkney, but we'll we'll manage that eventually. So, advisors culture, advisors with ruler culture, you are not British. You are not. Let's see here. You guys are British. Let's go with uh, manpower. And then you guys, can I get somebody a little more dev cost? Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Look how cheap they are. So good. I will take you. And now I can take these guys for innovativeness. I'll actually be able to even take them next year and save a little bit of mana, which is good. Because by that time, I reckon these colonies are going to be pretty close to finishing up. I'm about to max out on mill mana, though. So I suppose we will do a couple clicks here. We can click uh, another mission somewhere. Conquer Arland, right? Gives us some uh, production and uh, goods produced and all that good stuff. So let's see here. Do I still not have range? I do not, sadly. 
These guys would actually consider it. Would they really? Hmm. No, that's not worth. Let's see here. Let's improve relations with them, though. Maybe, just maybe, it might be worth. Getting a trade company and then, like, you know, bouncing our way down to Benin, down to Congo. Just for a couple of extra bonuses. Again, I, I don't plan to play as these guys, so I don't really care about them being successful. I'm not going to nation ruin them, but um, the sooner we get through this stuff, the better. On the early tick, I will be able to take this tech for right about base price, I bet. Look at this. Cheaper than base. 600 is base. Three years ahead of time. How about it? 50 innovativeness. Absolutely insane. Obviously, we need to core this stuff up, so let's core that. Get some uh, rebel suppression over here. The devastation on this province is never going to go away, ever. And I don't really care about it, to be honest with you. Very good. These guys are getting over there. And we're still just waiting on our colonies. You can take a look over here on the macro builder. Patiently waiting. Sure, I'll invest. Now, I don't think there's anything I can do to speed up Reform Desire. I don't think uh, it does anything. I don't think there's anything I can do. Oh, he's tar. All right. Is that better or worse than fish? It's a little bit better. Cool. Generally, it's only fish that spawns here, but trade goods expanded. It uh, grows a couple of new things. Do we have anything over here? Fish. Okay. What do we have over here? Rum. Very good. Yo, ho, ho. And a bottle of rum. We are so close. We are so close. This is like the, the, the precipice, the tipping point, right? I'm very excited. Very excited. And uh, Anne of York has been very good to us. Sadly, her uh, her uh, her heir is not good. That's okay. I'm hoping she'll live to be at least like 60. That would be great. Come on, baby. As soon as we finish up these two, we're going to be able to start just absolutely plowing through this, which is going to be really good for us. Francis Papal Controller, Sag. We're over 3,000 ducats in the in the, in the the plus now, which is great. Charter Trade Company here. Let's see. There, oh, yes. Okay, this is exactly what I wanted. Now let's see if I can charter one from these guys. I did not actually mean to click that, but that's okay. These guys are thinking about it. What about you, Benin? Are you close enough? Not close enough. Sag. It's fine. We can now colonize down there, or explore down there at least. Uh, let's go with Cell Atlantic. Yeah, this is fine. Extra colonist as well. So let's head on over to Chesapeake, who does have natives that will definitely fire. So let's have you guys head down here. And you might notice some of the provinces look a little different. I have uh, remapped quite a bit of the provinces in the New World to make them look a little bit more reasonable with what you would expect the U.S. borders to look like. Obviously, straight borders doesn't really translate well in um, in terms of um, Anthony Gilbert is dad. Unfortunate. It doesn't really translate well in terms of um, you know pretty borders in traditional EU4 fashion. I actually don't care about exploring anymore. So what we're going to do is we are going to have these guys go protect trade in uh, North Sea and go home at war. And there we go. We will gain a shipyard in Bermuda. And they will Bermuda will be renamed to Summers Isles. And the capital will be re re renamed to St. George's Town in honor of uh, the king. Who uh, historically was uh, in charge when uh, Bermuda was uh, colonized by the British, if I recall. I might be wrong there, but... Uh, I do believe. So we'll get some permanent claims. We get an extra colonist and global settler increase. So just like that, these missions are now unlocked and we can start the, uh, let the fun begin here. There are some natives that are doing, raising some ruckus over here. It looks like this is going to be fish as well. Also fish. Jeez, oh Pete, so much fish. We're going to need some better stuff like the wacky tobacky. All right. So let's build up some units over here. We're going to need a few regiments. These guys are taking attrition because reasons. 
This is fine, though. And uh, now, as we work through this, we're going to be able to start snowballing. And that's the plan. Snowball a bit. Noble regiments. We gain some admin mana and some reform progress. I suppose that's fine. Noble regiments in Leicester. Is that like over... Where's, where's this at here? No, no, no. Uh, L-E-I-C, Leicester. Okay. Seven of them. I'll gladly fight seven regiments if it means I can get some admin mana for free. No problem from me. So I have an extra colonist as well. So I suppose we might as well just uh, get them going, right? So we got an extra regiment here. Bring them over. Let's have you brought over to... Uh, uh, Rhode Island, and then another couple of regiments here. These guys will fight those rebels there. That extra mana is good. Get you guys back up here. Very good. And as these guys finish up as well, we will be able to head over here. So you can see we're going to have five colonists just like crushing it on the New World front. It's going to be really, really good. And uh, if we play it smart, we'll actually be able to get some development done a little more efficiently in the meantime before our uh, colonial nation takes over. So that's the goal there. So let's get you guys down here to James River. You've got to be kidding me, man. Get out of here, you jerks. Before I could even get my, my uh, navy or my army over there, they already popped. All right, and we got another one. Let's go with Rapnuk. I believe is how that province is pronounced. And uh, just like that, we get another mission, Plymouth, which will give us global settler increase, native assimilation, which is nice, and uh, some uh, bonuses in Plymouth. So Plymouth will now be producing fish, which I think it actually already is. It is, so nothing will change there. But it will also gain some uh, tax, manpower, and production. I should probably re write that so they're in the correct order so let me write that down real quick here all right so i have that written down very good i just wanted to make sure that it says tax production manpower because that's the order that they are on the screen right so it makes more sense so now you can see we're starting to really stack up this global settler increase interest in the new world is explosive and uh, we are now able to really really start powering through some colonization so lads i hope you are as excited as i am to get into the new world Plenty of excitement to ha be had here. I'm going to partially state this and give it the dev cost. If you guys are enjoying and you want to see more content, make sure you leave a like on the video. And don't forget to subscribe if you have not already. Because uh, there's plenty of content you're going to be missing out on if you're not subscribed. If you haven't joined the Discord for more information on the mod or just community in general, join that in the link in the description below. As well as my subreddit if you want to play, play some uh, fun memes or uh, post some fun memes over there. As well as follow me on Twitter. And uh, support me on Patreon if it's within your means, because that support is really what allows me to do what I do for you guys full time. But that's all I got for you for today. This is Chewy Shoe, and I will catch you guys later.